Today, we'll dish out the exclusive details on some of the swankiest private jets soaring through the skies. We're talking Gulf Streams, basically the Cadillacs of the heavens. You see, the ultra-long-range business jet scene has been heating up with some heavy hitters like the Dassault Falcon 10X and Bombardier's Global 7500 and Global 8000. But now, stepping into the ring is Gulfstream's G800, not just a range topper, but a game changer in the world of high-flying elegance. Yep, you heard it here first. Gulfstream just dropped their latest model, and we've got the scoop for you. But before we dive into all the juicy details, do us a solid, hit that like button, and smash the subscribe for more awesome content. It's not just for us. It's like giving a high five to the YouTube algorithm and letting us know we're making your aviation dreams come true. Now, no more waiting around. Let's jump right into the good stuff. Gulfstream's evolution. First, let's rewind to 2008 when Gulfstream rocked the aviation scene with the G650. Since then, they've been on a roll, shaking up their lineup like a pro DJ at a party. First, there was the flagship G650, followed by the G500 in 2014. And you know what they say, good things come in threes. Those two gave birth to three other cool models, and now there are two more newcomers in town. Apparently Gulfstream isn't exactly known for making a big fuss, but in October 2021, they decided to go all out Hollywood style. Just imagine the whole package, a glitzy press conference with hundreds of clients, Gulfstream bigwigs, employees, and of course the media. It was like the Oscars of the aviation world, and what did they unveil? Not one, but two new business jets, the G800 and the G400. Sibling rivalry and market dynamics. You see, today is a massive leap into the future for us as we roll out the G800, the speed demon with the longest range ever, and the G400, making waves as the first big cabin newbie in the industry for over a decade. Mark Burns, the Gulfstream president, couldn't be more pumped about it. It appears that elegance and comfort are the names of the game with the G800, offering up to four swanky living spaces that can fit a cozy 19 passengers. Even though the G800 shares the same body and cabin size as the G650ER, giving you a whopping 2,138 cubic feet of cabin volume, they're throwing in some snazzy design details inspired by the G700, just to spice things up a bit. But the wings and winglets? They're keeping it consistent with their predecessors, which is a major milestone and a big bet on our future. What's more, this new business jet is all about kicking things up a notch with enhanced fuel efficiency and even more city pair capabilities. It's basically an extension of the G650ER and G700, giving you the longest range in Gulfstream's lineup. According to Mark Burns, they've been leading the biz aviation industry for over 60 years, always pushing the envelope when it comes to safety, performance, innovation and comfort. Signature cabin experience. If you're curious about the interior, this ultra-long-range jet is all about giving you space to stretch out and enjoy the ride. Just think of 16 panoramic oval windows, giving you the ultimate views of the sky. And inside? You've got options. Go for four swanky living areas or scale it down to three with a special spot for the crew. And of course, we couldn't forget about that signature Gulfstream cabin experience, offering the lowest cabin altitude in its class. But it seems like the G800 is all about keeping you healthy too. That's why they're rolling out a plasma ionizing clean air system, zapping away almost 100% of airborne nasties and giving you that fresh air feeling throughout your journey. Cutting edge upgrades. Now, let's zoom in about the cool upgrades coming your way with the new generation of jets. First off, we're talking cabin pressurization that's going to make you feel like you're cruising at a chill 2,916 feet when you're up there at 41,000 feet. That's beating the advertised 3,200 feet on the G650. Talk about leveling up. However, let's get into the nitty gritty of the G800. We're talking work in progress here, folks. It's got the G650's size cabin but a bit shorter and with two fewer windows than its big brother, the G700. They're like siblings, sharing the same high-speed wing and winglet design, but the G800 is going to be the shorter but longer-legged one, 
with a 7,500 nautical mile range. And here's the inside scoop. It's eyeing the Big Brother's spot, looking to replace the G650 eventually, according to Mark Burns. But don't worry, the G650 is still holding strong, thanks to the awesome sales over the past few years. The backlog got their back as they geared up for these exciting new models. Specifications and power boost. You see, the G800 is about to get a serious power boost, thanks to Rolls-Royce's Pearl 700 engines. These babies were custom-made for Gulfstream and are set to get their official stamp of approval next year. But what makes these engines so special? Well, they're packed with cutting-edge tech and deliver top-notch performance, setting new standards for the ultra-long-range corporate jet market. Developed at Rolls-Royce's Center of Excellence for Business Aviation Engines in Germany, these engines are currently undergoing the final stages of testing and certification. And get this, they're the heavyweights in Rolls-Royce's business jet propulsion lineup, serving as the exclusive power plant for both the brand new Gulfstream G700 and the G800. With these engines under the hood, the G800 is rewriting the rulebook on how far and how fast you can go in a Gulfstream. Even Mark Burns revealed on the G800 saying, the longest range in the Gulfstream fleet, the new G800 business jet, has a truly world-class 8,000 nautical mile range at Mach 0.85 and the 7,000 nautical mile range at Mach 0.9, making it the fastest jet ever produced by the Marquise. To complement this, it got this slick Gulfstream-designed wing and winglet combo straight from the G700's playbook. So it's not just about speed. The G800 is all about efficiency, giving you more bang for your buck when it comes to fuel and city pair capabilities. Global dominance and flexibility. On top of all its swanky developments, Scott Neal, the Gulfstream sales guru, is pumped about the G800, calling it the longest range beast they've ever cooked up. I mean, he's pointing at a map, showing you could jet off from Hong Kong at Mach 0.9 and land in New York. That's some serious globe-trotting power. According to Neil, this plane is a turning point. It gives you the freedom to decide if you want to take a left or right turn and still end up in the same sweet spot. Now here's the cool part. Since the G800 is shedding some pounds in the maximum takeoff weight department, or around 105,600 pounds, it's flexing its muscles at weight-restricted airports. Plus, with its steep approach capability, it's spreading its wings and making even more airports accessible for both the G700 and G800. And don't be fooled by its larger size. It's still rocking a max takeoff distance of 6,000 feet when it's fully loaded. Hey, we're reaching the home stretch of this video. And before we wrap it up, how about giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button? It goes a long way in supporting us, and we'd really appreciate it. Now let's dive into the G800's cockpit magic. Cockpit innovation. Apparently the G800's avionics are rocking the Predictive Landing Performance System, or PLPS, giving pilots a heads up about any runway hiccups. But that's not all. There's a bunch of vision systems in a nifty heads-up unit, blending all the crucial data onto a single display making life way easier for our pilots. And let's talk about the flight deck. It's a pilot's dream with 10 touchscreen displays, active control side sticks adding that touch of non-verbal communication between the crew and the game-changing predictive landing performance system, giving pilots the ultimate situational awareness. Plus, Gulfstream is throwing in the combined vision system, bringing together enhanced flight vision and synthetic vision for a supercharged view of the skies. Pricing and release. All right, we're almost at the finish line, and here's the price tag scoop. The G800 is rocking a standard price of $71.5 million. If you've got your eyes on this beauty, Gulfstream's aiming for an entry into service in 2023. Reportedly, the first test aircraft made its grand entrance in the sun back in September, all dressed up in its paint scheme by the October rollout event. And guess what? There's already a second test aircraft in the mix, sharing some common vibes with its big sibling, the G700. According to Burns, the G800 is well on its way. They've been juggling the G700 and G800 plans since they spilled the beans on the G700 in 2019. It's like a well-choreographed dance, 
They're hustling to wrap up the final G700 certification months, and then boom, they'll smoothly transition into the G800 game. They've got a lot of things cooking in parallel, making sure everything's top-notch. And that's a wrap for this video. Hit up those links to dive into more aviation goodness, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Trust us, there's a ton of awesome content lined up, so stay tuned for the next video. See you there.